In this video, we're going to demonstrate the procedure for programming user credentials into the ePlex locks via learn lock mode. This procedure is applicable to the 56, 57, and 5800 series families of locks. And the first step is when the lock comes out of the box, you have to ensure that the lock is taken out of factory default mode. And the factory default eight digit master code is one through eight. Now this lock happens to already be taken out of factory default mode. The current master code is 4321, 4321. But just to illustrate the procedure for changing that master code, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So before you do any programming, you have to enter the pound or the number sign on the keypad. You would enter the existing lock's master code, which for my demo is 4321, 4321. You press pound, zero, 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 pound, you're going to enter the new 8-digit master code you want to use, which for my sample is going to be 8-7-6-5-4-3-2-1. You press pound. You're going to enter that same code, again, 8 through 1, a second time to confirm. You press pound. And then the second pound will end the programming. And you'll get an audible indicator as well as a visual indicator of the green light that it has accepted the new 8-digit master code. So once the lock is out of factory default, you're going to want to program credentials, whether they are cards or fobs, at the keypad of the lock via the learn lock method. And the way you're going to do that is you first have to make sure you have the compatible credentials, again, cards or fobs, in your possession. And to initiate programming of those credentials, you're going to press pound. The lock's existing 8-digit master code, which we know now is now 8 through 1, pound. 100 pound is the command to add a user credential. And this is the first user, so it's going to be user 001 pound. You will then take that credential, present it to the lock, press pound. If we were going to add a second credential, again, 100 is the command to do so. It's now going to be user 002 pound. You're going to grab that credential. Present it, and you'll keep going. And once you're done, you're going to press pound twice at the end of the programming session. And now your credentials will be enrolled in the lock as valid users. The important thing when using the lock in learn lock mode is to make sure you are aware of what user belongs to what user ID. Because you can individually cancel that user credential. So for example, this was user 1. To cancel that user, if I was looking up in the user manual, I would know the procedure, but it's pound, again, entering the existing 8-digit code, pound. The command to cancel code is 200, and I have to recall that that user is 001, pound, and then I press pound the second time, and that now would have removed this user as a valid user, but does not affect the other users. In the event you're completely resetting the lock and you want to remove all the users, again, you would look up in the user manual the procedure, but it's pound, enter the existing code, pound, and now the command of 299 pound, and then you end the session by pressing pound the second time, that would remove any previously enrolled user in the lock. 